Hi, I'm Star, and welcome to my channel, Starlight Starbright 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day today. Here, the sun is shining, the birds are singing. It is a little bit later in the day. It is uh, almost noon, I think, here. Um, I've been having some late nights. <laughs> just one more diamond just one more diamond <laughs> but uh, anyway so I've been able to uh, watch some uh, channels while I've been diamond painting and kind of just catching up on some that I have missed along the way so yeah so today I don't have anything new to show you but I am going to show you the progress of my diamond paintings for the um, different uh, events that I'm doing as well as uh, show you this container that showed up yesterday I was very upset I ordered two new containers from Aliexpress by the way so it's not just Timu that needs their the help on their packaging um, because my container came all busted up and we're gonna try to get a refund on it and now we haven't done a refund through Aliexpress but if you see that, look at that corner, all broken. So, I mean, regardless, I can still use it, of course. I mean, it came broken on this side too. See that there, all broken. My husband did try to glue some of it back together and we still have one corner here we could probably glue back together. But yeah, that's not the point. I mean, if they're gonna be shipping stuff like this, they really need to, um, either get different wrappings or or do something or it could have been like that right from Aliexpress uh, when I got the package it, it was like wrapped up, wrapped up in bubble wrap and stuff but I mean who knows they're probably throwing our packages around <laughs> you know um, on the on the airplane they probably just stroll chuck it in the airplane and then when it gets to customs probably goes through all those machines and who knows what those machines do they probably crush our packages and uh yeah i remember last summer i had gotten a package shantimu or not a package but it was a pretty large order but uh they had put it in a box and i was like oh this is a great way to ship so maybe that's what they need to start doing is just putting them back in those boxes again instead of those big flimsy bags we get because those bags you sure don't seem to do the trick and then of course i mean you got some packers that just don't seem to know how to pack so i hope team will change that as well <clears throat> but that's my beef for today if I have one. Oh, so we've had a bit of issues here this morning. Of course, we've had very high winds. So we have some weather stripping that has come off our RV here. That needs fixing. So my, my husband ordered a ladder so he can get that fixed. And then also now has a real strong of uh, smell of rotten eggs. And I'm like, what the heck? We're not cooking eggs or we're not making egg salad. You know that smell but apparently it also comes from propane so i guess with all the winds we've been having some dust got into our regulators out there where our propane tanks are and so now we need to get that fixed so there's always something to be fixed so whether you live in a house or an rv <laughs> there's always something uh, that needs fixing but anyway everything is good we just turned off the gas for now we don't really use it and uh but yeah the um tinnitus that i have in my ears have been really bad today too so i feel like i've got uh, a radio station that's just on uh you know the broadcasting psh, noise totally running through my ears today so it's just gonna be one of those days i think we all have them <laughs> But I'm still going to thank God because it is a beautiful, beautiful day. And this is a day that he has created. And my prayer little Ollie there, yeah, we have the door. I've got the windows open, got the door open. So he might bark every once in a while. Hopefully not. But in case he does. So I'm going to just move you down to the table here. I'm going to show you the progress that I've been doing. So I'm just going to uh, pause you guys and then we'll get looking at the, the paintings. Alrighty, I have my sidekick here today with me, little pixie girl. Say hi, pixie. <laughs> she wanted to be by her mama today. 
So this is usually where she sits and she looks at me or she'll come over here and lick me. But uh, it is getting warm in here so I probably won't take up too much time because uh, I would get the air going in here. But anyway, I just wanted to show you my project. So the first one here is that hummingbird uh, that I'm doing for Diamond Grandma's event. And uh, her co-host is... Hold on. I know I've got a piece of paper around here somewhere. <laughs> Her co-host is Macy's Madhouse. Um, so if you don't know who Diamond Graham is, or if you haven't subscribed to uh, Macy's Madhouse, yeah, go uh, show them some love. So this is the hummingbird here. I have sectioned it all off, so I know how many days I need in order to finish this one, but I did get this corner done. It is around, um, have had no issues with it. It's got gorgeous sparkle and just absolutely love the color so far. And uh, this one has been really enjoyable to work on. So that's number one. So this one is for um, this month's event, which is feathers. Uh, let me just get the right word here. It is called. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Tail Feathers 24. Just one of those days, guys. <laughs> now, this is the one that I have been working on. This one, I was, I did a, uh, I did my, um, oh, my butterfly fairy. I've got some sad news about her. So I was getting her ready because I was going to use her as like my big giveaway for the 500. But she is popping drills left and right. And so I'm going to have to seal her. And um, I know I sealed another painting one time and I tried to roll it up and it didn't work well. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with her yet. So she's kind of on the sidelines. Um... But yeah, I was quite upset with that. So uh, my husband says, why don't we just frame her and then you can use her for uh, the thousand giveaway. And I'm like, well, I really want to do have this one for my thousand giveaway because I mean, we need to pull an Eeyore. <laughs> but anyway, this is the one I have been working. It was a custom that my uh, lovely husband had made for me. And let me just take the plastic off. It's got beautiful, beautiful shine on this one. Uh, as you can see here, let me just try to move it there for you guys. But look at the shine on there. There is quite a few ABs in this one. And of course, you know, this is where I'm still working on this, but, um, but this is how far I've gotten on this one. But yeah, so I had done my butterfly and then I was going to work on this one for all the other events because it kind of mat. Uh, he was good for the blue event, he was good for the wing event, and he was also good for the fantasy event. So, but yeah, that's as far as I got on this one. But he's just absolutely adorable. I love the outline. Everything on this painting um, is really, really nice. So anyway, that's as far as I got on that one. And I do keep the covering on just because I do have cats. And we get quite a bit of cat hair and stuff flying around sometimes. So, so yeah. So there's that one. Then the next one is the fairy that you guys picked out for um, for Passionate and Purple. Passionate Purple? <laughs> and that's Diamond Tita. So yeah, if you don't know who Diamond Tita is, go check her out. Uh, both Diamond Grandma and Diamond Tita do have a Facebook page uh, that you can show off all your paintings if you want. Um, and then they also hold events every month. So this is as far as I got on, on her here. Colors are turning out really, really nice. And this one has been quite easy to work on as well. Also a very nice shine. This one is a square, I mean this one is a round. And yeah, so that's the progress on her. And again, I have her all sectioned off. So <laughs> trying to uh, trying to keep a, keep a bit organized. And this is the one I'm doing for Diamond or DP um, DP Bewitch Cat. 
and she's doing sugar skulls this month and you can go to her channel and if it's something that you'd want to enter um just leave her a message on i think she's got an email yeah she's got an email so just leave her a message saying that you want to enter and she will enter you into her event this month but this is the sugar skull one i am struggling with this one and i'll tell you why i love this company this is this the uh, um setter one uh from um from Timu, but there's symbols I'm finding, and I don't know if I can get this close enough here to show you, but the symbols, some of them are very, very hard to read. I don't know if you can see that, but they have like little letters. So A, B, D, E, and F are little letters. Now the big letters are no problem to see, but once you start getting down to these little letters, I am struggling big time to see uh, those letters. So yeah, um, but I mean, this one is a square. They're fitting so nice together. Um, it's almost like a premium, I would say, canvas. This one does have a soft back to it as well. Um, and it has the crimped edges. I absolutely love this company. And that's the only struggle that I'm having on it. Very colorful, you can obviously see the skull. You can see the flowers down there, no problem. And so, uh, this one and this painting here <laughs> have been taking me the longest to do. So I either have to do one of these in the evening or work on my uh, Happy Canada Day one. Um, but anyway, so that one, yes, is for, um, that's what I'm working on for um, Cat's event. And then the next one here is my O Canada. And this is far. Oops, this is as far as I've gotten on this one. Uh, this one has a lot of um, a lot of confetti in it, as you can probably tell by. Let me just lift this up here. So you can probably tell here, tons and tons of confetti. So I've got some fireworks done here, and then I'm going to go up this side, so I'm going to be able to roll it as I work on it. So, so yeah, like I said, this one has been taking me some time. It is a square. I've had no issues with these squares at all. They fit really nice together. I have, well, maybe with the black, I notice, um, but that's every square black that I have worked on that has been square uh, that I seem to struggle with getting them to fit nicely beside each other. And I don't know if it's just this black color that does it, but yeah. I'm, I'm always struggling with that so but yeah otherwise it's um this one has been really nice love the canvas excuse me love the canvas and uh very easy to work on very easy to see uh all the uh symbols on this canvas um <laughs> the other night though all this brown here i had put a different color because on the on the symbols I had there's two symbols that point one this one points one way and then I have another symbol here that points the other way and I did the wrong one <laughs> so yeah so I think that was with this one too there was two symbols that were kind of off and after I had done it I was like hmm that just doesn't look right no it did not look right <laughs> got a hair on here kitty hair but yeah so anyway, so that's this one, and uh, I'll probably end up working on this one tonight because I did work on my sugar skull last night, and I'll probably get try to get this square done, and then I'll also uh, try to get maybe a square done on um, one of my other paintings. So I figure if I do this kind of progress, it's, I'm I'm more organized and this is the first time I've actually sectioned off a painting like this. I usually put on the, um, what are they called? These things here. These, these, uh, things, whatever they're called. The, the sheets. <laughs> I call them my little parch, parch, parchment sheets, but, uh, paper release. I think that's what they're called. So I usually have all my painting lined up like this, but I decided to, to try it this way and it's working out really well. And, uh, I kind of like to see my painting as I'm working on it. So there's that one. 
And I'll just roll this one up. There we go. Just put it down here. Stay. All right. So this little girl here is the one I'm going to choose to work on for, um, there she is, for, uh, um, I want to say one day savings. Yes, one day savings. <laughs> uh, the, um, in order for me to get a PR package and for the amount of money I spent, I said that I would, uh, of course, show the, uh, review the paintings with you and then also work on one and show the completed. So this is the one that I chose to work on. I am going to use their tray that I bought. Um, like I said, the only thing I wasn't happy with is this not fitting very nicely. It's warped or whatever. Something happened to it. And, um... Other than that, I think it's a very nice tray. This is usually the tray that I use here. So it is a little bit bigger. Just a little bit, not too, too bad. And then her diamonds, what did I do with her diamonds? Oh dear. I'm not sure where her diamonds are right now. But I'm gonna put them in this tray because I do have this whole section available. And let me see, what did I do with them? You'd think that, you know, I have limited room, yet uh, I can lose something so easily. But anyway, so I'm going to kit her up. I'm going to start working on her, and I will show you the progress. Um, I'm not sure if something's going to be coming in the mail today or not for me. We will see, but uh, I am just going to take it easy today. I'm going to take some... Uh, pain meds just because my ears are driving me crazy but I definitely wanted to get a video out there for you guys today and so I'm so glad I was able to but yeah so this is the one that I will be working on I hope everybody is having a very blessed day um, like I said it's a beautiful day here I've got my windows open the birds were singing so nice this morning and I just love listening to the birds and oh I think I saw my first hummingbird um, so out there feeding the birds and I think I saw one but I was I was not quite sure because it flew by so fast <laughs> so maybe they're coming I've been waiting for my hummingbirds um, but yeah so from my home to yours I hope you have a very blessed day and of course God's richest blessings and I'll catch you on the next one see ya mm -hmm.